beautiful Capricorn, welcome to my channel. This is Baba Jolie here with your singles love reading for mid-May right through to mid-June 2022. I've already cleansed your space and have meditated on your cards. For those of you who are returning, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for all your wonderful likes, shares and subscribes. I am truly grateful for all your beautiful energy. Just a little reminder though, this is a general reading, not a one-to-one -one reading, just so you're aware. Also, please be mindful, scammers are about to pretend to be me and lots of other tarot readers. I do not do personal readings. I do not take your money, e-gifts, donations. I'm not on Facebook, WhatsApp, PayPal, Telegram, or Patreon. I will never ask you for credit card details, and I'll never ask you for personal details either. So if anyone masquerading as me asks you for anything at all, please report them or ignore them. It is a scam, okay? Let's move straight on with your reading. I'm going to cleanse your space hourly, so please be mindful. There's going to be three loud sounds. Let us begin. Okay, my beautiful Capricorn, this is your singles love reading. For those of you who are not wanting uh, a love reading at all, I will be doing a career reading for your sign in the next couple of days, so please check that out. I will also be doing a um, what do your guides want you to know as well. That reading will come shortly too. Uh, now, I do apologize for um, not uploading or doing any readings yesterday, but it was Mercury retrograde, so it was a very bumpy time for me. Uh, it would not have been easy for me to uh, connect uh, spiritually. I also scry at the same time as do your reading um, and do a lot of um, downloading. So I, I couldn't do it yesterday. I do apologize. I'll go get that card now in a moment. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Grand Angels. Can you please guide my beautiful Capricorn? What do they need to know? I'm just going to go get that card one moment, please. Uh, but you got the ring there at the end. So that indicates that there is a commitment coming on in here for you. Uh, we will get all of your cards first before I do your reading. Um, we've got the stork, we've got the house, and we've got the ring. So the stork tends to represent a long time uh, sort of stagnant energy, perhaps single, looking for love and nothing's been going on, not even a little bit of uh, frizz on with anybody, no chemistry or anything like that. It's been watching and waiting. Uh, so let's see what's going on for you. Uh, we got the judgment card. Thank you so much, spirit guides, great angels. Can you please guide my beautiful Capricorn? What do they need to know? Can you please guide them for their highest good? What are they meant to see? Um, we've also got the strength card. They want one more in this position, so I will give it. Thank you so much, spirit guides, great angels. Can you please guide my beautiful Capricorn? And we got the lovers. Okay, the ring and the lovers with the strength card. This is looking good, my beautiful Capricorn. So um, we're going to go, as I said, get all the cards first before we do your reading. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Great Angels. Now, we do have the Judgment card there. Now, the Judgment card, because we have Mercury Retrograde, which tends to bring people from the past into the present. Now, that can mean one of two things. They physically reach out because they're thinking about you. We all tend to look back during a Mercury retrograde. Uh, there's an energy of nostalgia. So it does make people really want to focus on reaching out to people that they lost touch with. Uh, it doesn't have to uh, be that they actually reach out. It can mean that they're thinking about you and it can also mean that you're thinking back as well. So uh, the judgment card is card of second chances or looking back in order to move forward. So um, there is a tendency that you could be looking back at past relationships how they how they uh, worked or didn't work, how you operated within them, noticing any patterns and things like that, and you may be shedding them in order to embrace new. Uh, some of you are going to want to return to a past person. Now, this is a singles love reading, so I really won't focus on that energy. Um, unless it comes up, of course, I'll mention it briefly, but we're looking towards the new in this reading. I will be doing another reading for those who want to reconnect to a past person. I mean, the full card tells me you want to uh, go for new. You, you're looking forward. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Great Angels. Can you please guide? We got the Justice card twice in the same position. So, um, and we got the we got the Two of Cups. I mean, you got the Ring, the Lovers, and the Two of Cups. This is your outcome position. Spirit gives you exactly the cards you're meant to see. So, I'm seeing this is a very positive sign uh, that there's definitely someone headed your way. Okay. Now, the first card is the Stork. It's number seventeen. Number seventeen is actually the Star card. So that's all about healing. It's about processing and getting clarity. 
recognizing what you do want and what you certainly do not want when it comes to a relationship, but it's also about personal growth, okay, and looking forward to the future. The stork is an energy of pause. Storks tend to just sit there, they watch, they wait, they contemplate, they wait for the right moment to strike. So you may have been out of the dating game for a while. Sorry, I do have a little bit itchy leg there. Um, you may have been out of the dating pool or dating game for a while because um, you've been working on yourself. You've been focusing on your calling. The judgment card is all about your life's purpose or your reason for being. And, uh, you know, that calling that is within us all, that blueprint that we follow, that instinct. So I feel like you're really connecting to that at this time. You haven't been sitting there just twiddling your thumbs, waiting for love. You're not the sort of person who just waits. You're the sort of person who gets busy living rather than, you know, focusing on what you don't have. You're always out there making your own luck as well, Capricorn. So this stork energy indicates after a long period of nothing happening, all of a sudden, there's sudden movement. So suddenly there will be someone new who comes into your world. Now looking at the resistance position, things that may be, uh, you know, in some way blocking your movement forward towards love, there is an indecisiveness. We got the Justice card twice and we've got the Two of Swords. So uh, because we got the Judgment card here, it can mean that there's been somebody that you were connected to in the past where it just seemed to just go nowhere. It just seemed to be suspended and it was at a stalemate. And this may have been very unfair. The Justice card in the reverse twice tells me that this is an unfair situation. Uh, maybe even someone did not take accountability for their actions, left you in this limbo energy. Um, and there could also be some trust issues here as well um, about stability, the long term. So this person may have been with you for a while, but it just never quite connected to get to that position of you know, a deeper commitment. Um, but the stork indicates that you've been sort of contemplating what to do next. You're not rushing into anything. Um, and I feel like you're more focused on your true calling, your true prosperity and your purpose um, with the judgment card. Now, the judgment card is about weighing up options. It's about judging a situation, but it's also about getting a second wind energy. So you're renewing your energy. You're looking at who you are, where you've been, where you are now and where you want to go. OK, so you're looking forward. This is a card of like um, re-examination, as it were. So you may be looking at what do you need to do in order to find love? Um, where do you need to go? Where do you need to put yourself into a position to um, meet new people? Or do you need to get online and meet people on the internet? Things like that. So I feel like you're looking at your circumstances and wondering how do you come out of this stagnant position in your love life? Uh, because of course, spirit is going to put someone in your path. But if you're a homebody by nature, which I mean, Capricorn, you don't tend to be a home body, home body um, but I feel this is about you coming out of a comfort zone because we got the full card there, which means you're getting out. You're getting out there. Now, it's easier said than done. I absolutely know that um, because, you know, some people are very shy. Some people uh, don't have the support network to go out with and things like that. So you may feel like you're trying to work out what is best for you in your circumstances. What I can see is that you're doing something for you and then you actually align yourself and you meet this person. So I feel like you're focusing on yourself and actually then this person comes into your life. Uh, I feel like you're not really seeking. Um, although right now they're showing me a pair of binoculars. So um, pair of binoculars, whenever I see uh, Spirit give me a pair of binoculars, this is about looking further afield. So you may feel people in your immediate vicinity they're not someone of interest for you right now and you're looking further afield. Uh, also I feel like you, you're, you've got intense focus right now. Um, when, whenever you've got binoculars, this is about you focusing on something that's very important to you. Uh, could be your career, could be if you're retired, it could be you know your hobbies and keeping life interesting and making your investments work for you. The judgment card is a card of, as I said, second win. So all of a sudden, after a long period of not even wanting to focus on love or not even having that motivation to seek it, all of a sudden, you're getting a little bit clearer on what you want and you're focusing, okay? Now, it could be that <clears throat> you've just bought a pair of binoculars or it could be that you've just picked up a pair of binoculars and put them away or you can see a picture of binoculars. Whatever it is, it has to resonate in some way. So please apply it to your situation. It's not going to resonate for everyone, but they just want that person to pay close attention to the reading if it resonates for you. Uh, the Judgment card, I have to say it because we have Mercury Retrograde, is also a card of reconciliation. OK, so because we've got the, the, the judgment as in 
weighing up whether you are uh, wanting to revisit a situation or whether you want a new life the question mark is in your mind so you may be thinking about someone from the past or they may have just reached out to you because of mercury retrograde and i know we're only uh, a day and a bit into that mercury retrograde but that doesn't mean it couldn't have happened uh, two weeks either side because we feel that magnetic pull um before the shift so um the judgment card is you thinking or evaluating whether this person deserves a space in your life anymore uh, it can also be that you're looking back in order to see how that situation has impacted the way you operate within relationships you may never want to see that person in the past ever again and that's okay that's your own free will but you're looking at how it may have stifled you from moving forward how it stopped you in your tracks and made you not focus on love anymore focus on healing and focus on building your stability because we've got number four here so i feel like you've been building a solid foundation when it comes to um wanting to move forward you've been focusing on yourself uh, the justice card can also in this position indicate that someone from your past will reach out to try and uh, seek absolution uh, try to renew their connection with you in some way maybe even an apology uh, depending on the person of course uh, but the two of swords there tells me as well you're unsure um, you I feel like you're just gonna leave it in that stalemate energy um, we've got the nine of cups here so this is your protagonist energy so the nine of cups tells me that whatever it is you're wishing for right now it will be fulfilled in terms of love okay I mean you're building nicely in terms of your finances and things like that but they're showing me um, nine of cups indicates your wishes are going to come true. This is about you also being content with where you're at right now. And that's the most important thing, my beautiful Capricorn, finding happiness within because nobody could ever rob you of that happiness that is within because it's yours and no one has access to that unless you allow it. So they just want you to be aware of that. Uh, so nine of cups, even though there's been like a solitary energy or you've been stagnant, waiting for love to visit your life, uh, I feel like you're good where you're at because you're actually focusing on the important things in your life and trying to make things work for you so this is a card of being proud of yourself spirit want you to be aware you should be proud of everything that you've accomplished so far you're trying to build a life of pleasure uh, the good life for yourself and you're trying to fulfill yourself in a way that is not attached to another person or is, an, is not attached to anything outside yourself. So Spirit wants you to be aware that the soul work that you're doing, you're right on track and they're really excited and they say you should be proud of yourself. Uh, we've also got the full card, which is about you having a lot of potential to meet somebody new, okay? This is about the journey. You've been starting to recognize you're enjoying the journey. Now, it's really interesting because we've got Major Arcana, Major Arcana, and we got a Nine of Cups, which means this journey in life, you're about to experience the good stuff. All the good karma that was meant to be coming to you, it's all going to come at once. The, the full card is a card about having faith that you take the first step and the path will appear. And I feel like you, there's hope here with this. And I feel like you're going to take a chance on opening yourself up to new love with this card. This is a card of new beginnings, okay? Even though you may have been hurt in the past, once bitten, twice shy, I feel like you recognize that love is worth the risk to get out there and try and find someone that is your divine counterpart. And it looks like you're going to meet that person. Um, we've got the, the house here, stability. Okay, now it's in the resistance position. So I feel like even if you were with someone in the past that you thought was for the long term, there was something, there was an undercurrent here of you not trusting that things were all stable, okay? Uh, but this is the challenge to overcome for the month because this is about stability. Uh, you are building a solid foundation for yourself and also you're looking for a stable relationship, one where you could perhaps move in with the person uh, or, you know, um, see a future with that person but for some of you you're gonna they're indicating you're actually focused on buying a property at this time or buying uh, some sort of real estate or trying to get a business up and running that is to do with uh being a realtor or something or re real estate in some way so i feel this is your focus is on building a financially secure future for yourself first before you even think about allowing love to occupy your mind your body and soul now not everybody gets into your energetic sphere you don't give your heart away easily my beautiful capricorn so they're indicating that um you always need to feel like you're in some way secure first before you start opening yourself up to that sort of depth of love uh, but I feel like you will with this new person so um, number four is also emperor energy so that is about 
your power, uh, you're empowered during this time. This is about you focusing on success, uh, a strategy, you know, having like a five year plan and things like that. And it is about like leadership. So I feel like you're bossing up in your own world. You've got a lot of respect from people around you, even if they don't say it, they actually respect the way you operate. Uh, and I feel like you're planning for the future and that future incorporates love. Uh, we've got the justice card twice. So either you get went through some sort of bitter uh, separation or a difficult separation, um, or you went through a divorce. Uh, there was something here where you feel it was unfair, but it was in some way necessary and you're recalibrating, you're finding your balance within this. The Justice card is also a card of cause and effect. So if you've not been looking for love uh, for a long time and you've taken yourself out of the dating pool and you've been focusing on other areas of your life, then it stands to reason that love was not your primary focus and therefore uh, you did not call it into your world. Uh, the things that we tend to focus heavily on, they are the things that become very, very successful. Uh, they always say you can't have it all and that's not the truth. You absolutely can have it all. Um, with this Justice card also, I feel like you... you you couldn't find or you're trying to make adjustment now to allow love in. You're finding that balance between work and play and you're looking for a relationship that, um, you know, is equal. One that is, uh, brings reciprocity. Now, if you have been going through a separation, for example, uh, even a major one like divorce, uh, it, it again stands to reason that there's been a pause before you think about um, you know, going out there and connecting to another human in terms of a romance. So um, I feel like that may have been the cause of the pause as well. Um, and I feel like everything you've been working for actually is coming into fruition. And I feel like you're getting yourself ready. I feel like this is preparation. Now, for some of you, uh, I've got a real heavy, heavy energy that either this person um, that you're about to connect to works within a legal system doesn't mean they're uh, like uh, they could be, they could be in the services um but it could be that they um work behind the scenes uh you know within legals like civil servants or uh you know they could uh work within an office that is like um something legal accountancy that sort of thing um they may have links to that doesn't have to be but i feel a strong energy um of this new person's sense of right um they uh they take accountability for their actions. This new person is very loving. They're very um, warm. And it's not gonna be the same experience that you've had in love before. Uh, old ways of doing things, old patterns are out the window, especially since we were coming up to that um, full moon eclipse in Scorpio, which means old patterns or anything that was a habit that you used to exhibit in a relationship in the past or that you've been gravitating to the same sort of people with the same sort of outcome, that's all being left behind in the past, okay? We've also got a two of swords here. So either you met people who are a little bit like on the fence when it comes to a uh, high level of commitment. Um, the two of swords is a sort of like a time to make a decision. With the justice card in this position, I mean, it is also, it's sort of like also sort of pointing in the same direction of, it's time to make a decision or a decision needs to be made on something about your security. So I feel this is about you feeling it's time to get into a long-term relationship because you feel ready. And I feel like you've not taken that choice um, for a long time. That's what I'm getting here. So I feel like that two of swords where there's been stagnancy, nothing happening because it's in the resistance position. It's like I got it in the reverse. It's showing me that, um, you know, um, you may have been overloaded with other things and you haven't been focused on love, but now your uh, your love is in some way coming into focus or longevity in relationships is coming into focus in the next four or five weeks, okay? Now, of course, the end result is wonderful. I mean, start planning the wedding if that's what you're wanting. Um, we've got number 25 when you reduce it 2 plus 5 is 7 the chariot card number which is about movement forward overcoming any obstacles and finding motivation to move forward to get what you want okay so the chariot card is about that journey of discovery and it can be a physical journey as much as a spiritual journey. So some of you may actually be uh, relocating if you're buying a new property or things like that, or maybe you're actually traveling in some way. Uh, they're indicating here that, um, now they keep bringing me to water. They're showing me water in the water. It's the most fabulous thing. I wish you could see it um, because they're showing me an image of water in the water. And they're also bringing me to the water that is here on the full card. So either you're going to cross water. Um, I know that's such a cliched thing for um, 
spiritualist to say you will cross water you will also cross my hand with golden coins you know that sort of thing uh, obviously I don't want any uh, money or I don't want your coins and things like that I'm not here for that um, I'm here uh, to give you any messages that come through um, but they're showing me you crossing water or being by water when you meet this person so either you actually meet this person on a uh, a boat trip or uh, you go to some sort of park and it's by water a lake perhaps or you're going for a vacation and it's by a lake or there's a party by the lake or by a pool or something water is important that's what they're showing me so just be mindful of that and of course it's an engagement ring or it's a ring now the ring basically means love and commitment contracts so a soul contract between you and a person uh, the stone tells me that there is loyalty that there is a truth to this person um, also, I feel like this is um, this is something important. It's a big, it's a heavy, it, they're showing me it's like a heavy, chunky ring. So it means that this is a big commitment to this person. Okay, uh, so I feel uh, this is something that you will get into with this new person. We also have the strength card. The strength card is about uh, personal awareness, about overcoming any obstacles that have been blocking you um, and having that inner calm, but also having the courage to, you know, take that leap of faith and get out there and meet somebody new. Um, the strength card is also a card of self-love. Love starts with the self. And once you have the courage to love yourself, then you can extend it to another. So I really feel like you're opening your heart chakra, you're opening your third eye and your crown chakra. And I feel like you're allowing love in. Okay. Um, also, we've got the lover's card here, um, which is a, a beautiful soulmate union. This is... Um, you know, people coming together um, in harmony, uh, creating something beautiful. This is a lot of romance, a deep bond between you and this new person. Now, we do have strong Libra in the chart here. We have uh, Aries Scorpio, we have Gemini, and we have Leo. Okay, so they could have strong placements in those areas in their chart. It doesn't have to be sun, moon, or rising, but they've got strong influences from those areas, just so you're aware. So quite nice, a little bit of water, a little bit of fire, um, and... Um, you know, you will bring the earth to the whole situation, my beautiful Capricorn. Uh, the lover's card is also a card that used to be called the choice. So for some of you, as I said, you may be looking back at a past person or you may be contemplating whether you renew your energy with a past person or let them go. That is your choice. But I'm going to pull a quick card on this for you before I um, move on because I want to see if the choice uh, is someone from the past or whether it is two options that will capture your attention. Thank you so much for it, guys. Great angels. Can you please guide the full card in the reverse? Okay, so they're indicating the full card here is with the judgment card. So that means you're deciding to go for something new. The full card in the reverse indicates if you do, you decide not to take a leap of faith and go for someone new um, and I see where this is going. It's almost if you renew. Okay. Um, well, the Three of Pentacles t does tend to tell me that there is you and two options. Can you, whoa. Okay. So that was very interesting that that's all fallen in the water. The Nine of Wands. Basically, the Nine of Wands is the wounded warrior. Someone who doesn't give up on something. So it can mean that you're if you persist... And that went right in the water. I mean, I told you, water is important. I mean, maybe you're even meeting... You meet by water. There's, they're just giving me this energy that you meet someone by water. Um, but the Nine of Wands, as I said, does not give up. Persists at something, no matter how hard it is. They don't give up on something. So if you do not give up on a past relationship, um, they are indicating... Oh, how would you like to receive? Thank you so much. I mean, it still ends up in two of cups, so you still get out, you still get into a relationship. Okay, I understand what's happening here. Uh, they're indicating nine of wands. If you can't make, if you keep trying to make a past situation work, the, the king of wands in the reverse basically says that person is still not ready yet. They're still sitting on the fence. That's why that two of swords is still there in that position. So um, I would be mindful that it won't be this time round that they fully commit to you. So just so you're, so you're aware. I mean, we've got that two of swords again. So this is about if you uh, if you decide to sort of break free from that stalemate energy and you decide to make a decision um, and walk away. I mean, it's literally telling you everything. The eight of cups in the upright. If you decide to walk away from that past situation, fate intervenes with the wheel of fortune to bring you a soulmate. The two of cups. So they're really indicating that the past person 
is still in their same frequency. They're still not ready for a connection. So, you know, I know it's disappointing to hear, but I have to give you what I'm getting on this particular reading. If it does not resonate for you, then maybe it's not your reading, but I have to give it to you the way that I'm seeing it and the way that I'm feeling it. So they're indicating you walking away from a past situation and being with somebody new, okay? Uh, for those of you who did not want to hear about the old situation, I do apologize, but I have to mention it because it's there and it's not, you know, there's a lot of people watching it, so I have to give all the energy that's coming through. Um, that's beside the side. Eight of Wands indicates movement forward from the past. It means also quite quickly. So very, very soon, there's someone coming in that is going to match your frequency and you're going to be connecting to this person and there's going to be a lot of messaging back and forth. Eight of Wands is messages news arriving, but also back and forth messaging like lightning speed. And all these messages are for you. This person is really focused on you. And there's a lot of passion with you and this person. I feel like there's a deep connection as soon as you meet. And we got the two of cups, which indicates this is going to be a long-term um, partnership. One that could lead to a high level commitment like marriage, if that's what you're looking for. Definitely a proposal to either move in um, and something for the long term. Uh, so that two of cups indicates two people coming together because it is a divine timing. It is the right timing, okay? So yes, there is love coming on in here for you. I feel like you meet this new person by water, okay? They're indicating you, you meet this person by water. So whether you've even got a day trip, booked or something like that water is important um they're just showing me something one moment please they're showing me a star and an anchor now anchor obviously connects to water for sure because it's for a boat or it can mean to anchor your emotions it can mean that you're going on a journey uh, and a star a star and an anchor i mean they may be symbols that are on the restaurant for example if you go for a date with this new person so look out for that it could be that you've got a star and anchor as a tattoo or this person does or it can mean that uh, there's a painting that's got it in it uh, they're symbols uh, signifiers for you to look out for in the next four to five weeks a star and an anchor and i feel like they uh, are close by or they actually are connected in some way so uh, I'll leave it like that. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Grand Angels. Can you please guide my beautiful Capricorn? What do they need to know? Can you please guide them for their highest good? What are they meant to see? We got socks. Now that's all about complacency, having to come out of your comfort zone, take that leap of faith. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Grand Angels. Um, I guess that's why that house is there as well in the resistance position. If you're someone who's been, um, you know, a homebody for quite some time, um, then they're indicating coming out of the home space, um, some sort of either event or travel option gets you out of your comfort zone. They want four. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Grand Angels. Can you please guide my beautiful Capricorn? What do they need to know? Oh, wow. <laughs> These four cards pretty much um, describe the whole reading. Uh, we've got socks there. Number 22, when you reduce it, two plus two is four, the emperor energy. So you focusing on business success or your divine uh, path, as it were, planning for the future. It says introspective coziness complacency. And that stork energy, the judgment card is all introspective. Uh, it says life can't always be lived the fullest by being a homebody. Don't let your socks stop you from feeling the grass. So it's like getting out of there, getting out of a comfort zone. Um, we've also got number 10. Now, number 10 is the Wheel of Fortune energy. So that is divine intervention and divine timing. And it says break, interrupted, cut off, separated. Ties have been severed in a situation. Release what does not serve you. So again, they're giving this energy of something perhaps in the past, whether it is the influence that that situation has had on you operating in certain relationships, uh, you're, you're letting it go now. I mean, it doesn't even have to be a past love relationship. It can mean the way that you experience the foundation of love by watching either guardians or uh, parents and things like that. So they may have influenced the way that you feel about love or the way that you operate within love relationships. There may be insecurity there, uh, trust issues, you know, things like that that may influence us in relationships. I feel like you're processing and letting things go. Uh, we've also got the high priestess kind of energy, number 38. When you reduce it, three plus eight is 11. That's a soul path number. And it says wisdom, inner knowing, poise. When you meet this person, this new person, you just know. You know there's something other here with this new person. And I feel like you connect in a very deep way, straight away. Well, They just said star and anchor again. So maybe there's a, a place that's called the star and anchor. 
I'm not really sure. But anyway, uh, also we've got number 43. When you reduce it, four plus three is the chariot number, movement forward, overcoming obstacles, finding that motivation to get whatever it is you set your intention on, whatever you've been wishing for, because you've been making wishes here with that nine of cups. And it says order, synchronicity, accord, divine timing at the right time. So very important, you're about to meet somebody right on time. And um, the next four to five weeks, you'll be messaging this person. Okay, there will be messages going back and forth. I feel like the commitment, the solid commitment comes a little bit later, but the, the messaging, meeting and messaging this person, yeah, next four to five weeks, uh, definitely coming on into your energetic sphere. Okay, so I'm just going to get a trinket before we close. Thank you so much for it, guys. Going angels, can you please guide? Okay, so we have a beautiful little elephant. Okay, beautiful little elephant. Elephants are very strong, and you have been very, very strong, um, and you're very independent. Okay, you do everything by yourself. You, you don't need nobody. You want somebody to take the journey of life with you. And also the elephant removes any obstacles on the path in order to proceed forward. And that's exactly one of the uh, wonderful traits that you have, my beautiful Capricorn. They want me to put this on the lovers. So there may be even a connection to elephants in some way. Perhaps this person gives you a little elephant gift or something, or, uh, you know, elephants are also somehow connected. Uh, so watch out for that. And also we've got um, a key. Now the key there has got uh, the rose symbol, which connects to the death card, which means change. So you're about to unlock a change in your love life that um, leads the way to, to meeting this new person. Okay, um, so they want this on the two of cups. Maybe you and this person will even exchange keys and move in together and things like that. So uh, I feel like more than anything, you're unlocking a blockage. So I'll leave it there. I hope something resonates in this reading for you, my beautiful Capricorn. If it does, please like or subscribe to my channel. Completely free for you. All you have to do is press the little bell. That lets you know when I update my next message. It lets me know that you resonate with the reading, which is very important for me. Also, um, and they'll show me one more image before I go. They'll show me someone dunking a biscuit into either a hot beverage or some sort of beverage. So if that's you, as you're listening to this message, um, you're probably going to get surprised, but I can feel and see your energy. Uh, but yeah, um, I mean, if that's not you, doesn't mean it's not your reading. It just means they want that person to pay close attention to the reading because their attention may have wavered. I mean, to be fair, my attention's always on cookies and uh, a coffee. So <laughs> whenever I'm having it, I try not to think about anything else. So I completely understand. But it can also, um, it can also mean perhaps that you're going to meet someone new for coffee or something like that. And maybe they're they dunk their biscuit and maybe you don't like dunking your biscuit or something like that. There's something in that image that is important to the meeting of this new person. Otherwise they wouldn't show it to me in the scrying in the water. Okay. So I'll leave it there. Thank you so much, my beautiful Capricorn. Love and light.